We're here on board Tiger Lily, a Sweden 42 in Berthon's Big Blue Sheds, currently undergoing a refit, including the electronics package, which I'm going to quickly talk you through. At the binnacle here, we've installed a nav pod with a 7-inch Raymarine multifunction display, an I-70 instrument, P-70 autopilot controller, and we've reconfigured the binnacle to also hold the Genoa furler, the windlass, and we've installed a new bow thruster as well. So it's all on here. The chart plotter is linked up to another chart plotter downstairs, uh, which in turn is linked to a quantum radar, which we will be connecting and testing in the coming week. Um, went for the quantum radar, mainly it's lightweight, so good on a sailboat's rig. And the P70 autopilot control, we've got as part of a wider system, which includes an EV1 heading sensor, which has a nine axis sensor, which helps the boat to learn when it's yawing and rolling and pitching, rather than just using a flux gate compass to decide whether it needs to uh, turn to port or starboard to keep a steady course. Also on the nav pod, we've attached a second station for the VHF, main stations down below, and on the port side, We've got a waterproof scan strut USB charging point and there will be a little holder here so when the owner wants to put his phone down or an iPad down then he can still charge it if he wants to. Linked up to these instruments we've also got four more I-70 instruments in the coach house. The point of these I-70s is you can display any of the information on the network with them, um, so power wind angle, true wind angle, depth, heading, um, AIS, pretty much anything you can think of apart from a picture like a chart or a radar. Uh, you can set up 10 favourite pages on each one, although most people find that three on each one is enough and you can scroll through depending on what you're doing. So you might have one set for cruising, one set for racing and then you're cruising, you may split that into offshore uh, and inshore depending on the type of sailing that you're doing. Also on the top here we put in a couple of new Fusion speakers which are linked to a new Fusion sound system down below. Went for the Fusion for two reasons. First of all, it's 12 volt, so we can run it without having to use an inverter or a generator. And uh, secondly, the really useful thing is the multi-zone technology. So you can have it quiet on deck and loud down below when you're in a marina or vice versa, you can have it quiet down below and nice and loud on deck when you're out at sea. So that's all the main bits up on deck, so now we'll move down below. So moving downstairs, we've got the larger 12-inch plotter down here, which is linked up to the one at the binnacle we saw earlier. Another i70 instrument display the Fusion Stereo system, the main VHF system. We've put in a double USB socket for charging phones, iPads, tablets, etc. Um, we've also, under here, got the controller for an Echomax active radar reflector, the antenna for which will be on top of the mast. And what that does is it just boosts the radar signal from another vessel um, so that the return onto their radar screen makes this boat appear bigger um, so you're easily seen while out at sea. The Navtex, we've retained the original display but we've put in a new antenna system for it and we've upgraded the software to the latest software on it as well and we've put in a gas and carbon monoxide alarm with a carbon monoxide alarm here and the gas alarm down in the bilges. So that's the chart table area completed. Additional bits of electronics that we've put in include a television um, and we put together a nice remote holder for it as well. We went for the cello because it's 12 volt, um, so once again you can use it while at sea without having to run an inverter or a generator, uh, which is nice for longer passages. And also we put in Maratron tank senders, so down here there's uh, a tank gauge which measures the distance between the top of the tank and the fluid inside the tank and we can calibrate that to provide up-to-date information on any of the Raymarine displays that you've seen around the boat so far.